Here is vector A, which is at an angle of theta to the horizontal. We can resolve vector A into its components, or parts, by doing the following. So to find its horizontal component, we'll drop a vertical line straight down from the tip of vector A. The horizontal component starts at the same point as vector A and goes to the end of this line. And the vertical component starts at the end of the horizontal component and goes up to vector A. This should make sense to you as when we did addition of vectors, if you add the blue vector plus the green vector, the resultant is the A vector. So the components of the A vector are the horizontal component, which is the blue vector, and the vertical component, which is the green vector. So this is your vertical component of vector A, and this is the horizontal component of vector A. This is a right angle triangle here. So we can find the vertical component and the horizontal component in terms of A and theta using trigonometry. So the cos of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Multiplying both sides by the hypotenuse, we get this. And filling in then the hypotenuse is equal to the length of vector A, or its modulus. And the adjacent is equal to the horizontal component of vector A. So the modulus of vector A times the cosine of theta is equal to the horizontal component of A. And you may think of this as the component of A in the direction of x. You can also find the vertical component, so the sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Multiplying both sides by the hypotenuse gives this. The hypotenuse is equal to the length of A times the sine of theta, and the opposite is the vertical component of vector A. So the modulus, or length of vector A, times the sine of theta is equal to the vertical component of A, and you can think of this as the component of A in the direction of Y.